Welcome to the Rainbow Loom Project. Today, I'm going to be making a pom-pom. And if you don't know what that is, it's just this little charm that looks like a pretty much a pom-pom. And you can put it on your keys, your backpack, or just to have it in your room as a charm. Or just collect them and then show off your friends how many charms you've made over the summer or in general. So, we will be making that today. And the things you will need is a hook. A outstretched band it doesn't just doesn't matter what color just an outstretched band a C clip unless you're gonna do a what's it called a slip knot then that's fine but I'm doing a C clip just for secure and you're gonna need 60 bands and I'm saying that it's because I'm gonna be doing the colors of the rainbow and in order to do this you're gonna need about 10 colors or 10 of each color there so, I'm going to get started. So, I'm going to take that out the way. And the outstretched band, I'll show you about that later. I'm going to keep that right there. So, first, we're going to get your hook. And then you're going to get your first color. Mine is red because I'm going to do the rainbow. So, I'm going to grab all my ten red. And if you're using a crochet hook like me, put your finger on the end of it so everything won't slip out. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to get our ten bands and put it through the... And then we're going to put that to the bottom. Yeah. Now, for this, you're going to also have to be a little bit delicate because you don't want anything to mix into each other because that will be bad. when you, Unless you're like making a cosmic thing, like a galaxy, then okay, then that's fine. But I mean, if you're trying to make this nice and pretty and like this, then don't mix them together. Try not to let them mix. So we're going to get another colors. We're going to just put them through our hook. And this is actually a really easy charm to do because, I mean, whoops, I'm going to take those off really quickly. I added the wrong color on accident. I'm dumb. I'm just going to like jab those through. Hi -ja. Hi -ja. I'm just going to make this quick. There. Yeah, okay, now now I got my orange, okay. And then yellow. Yeah, the first three colors. Oh no, I forgot an orange. Eh, forget it. I don't care. Now it's uh, 59. So now I'm going to get my green, since it's a rainbow. It's the next color in the rainbow, green. You don't know that you learn something new every day. The struggle is real. Okay, this looks like a palm tree green for some reason. I don't know. And then I'm gonna get my blue. So, I got five colors, and then my last color is going to be purple. So, I'm going to get purple. Put it through. Now, if you're a beginner, like you're just now starting the Rainbow Loom stuff, then this is going to be a really easy charm for you because they'll be like, oh, How did you do it? And I'll be like, Skills. I did it because of skills. So, right now, I have a purple mixed in with my blue, which is not good. Because you need it out all the way. Yeah. 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 So now, since all our colors are on our hook, oops, don't want that to fall out. We're going to get the outstretched band. Mine is going to be orange. And I'm going to switch hand because I'm already. Oh no. So I'm going to hold the bottom with my right hand, and my left hand is going to hold everything together. So you're going to just mush up all your bands to the front. And you're gonna take them like little by little. Be very delicate at this point. Because you don't want anything bad to happen. Now 
Now that I got all the colors on the hook, I'm going to get the other side and put it together so it's going to look like that so far. And then you can do a slip knot here, but I'm not, so I'm going to show you. Well, I'm not doing the slip knot. You can do a slip knot if you want. It's your call. just doesn't matter. So I'm going to just get these two, put them together. Yeah, together. I'm going to get them, and then, let's see. My camera can focus. I'm going to put the C-clip for their both. And make sure they're both together, unless it's going to fall apart, and that's going to be terrible. So I'm gonna slip my hook through. Pew. And we're just gonna, it looks a little messy right now, but if you're using the C clip, then mush another color toward there. So, I mean, it won't show. You want it to be like an illusion. So since I have a bit purple, it's going to take like, I don't know, give yourself a minute and fix the colors because some will be bunched up together. So I got a purple over here, bring that purple over here. I got colors that are fine over there, so I'm just going to like, and then you can just arrange it to what you like. So let's see, this blue needs to be spread out a little bit more, but it can't have the gap, so I'm just keep it like that. Oops, this, yeah, there you go. Oh, is that a purple I see? Whatever. Nobody will see that. <laughs> so, that's our charm. And thank you guys for watching. And if you like this charm, then please thumbs up. And also, I want to say thank you. And subscribe, like, and comment down below what I should make next for my next video. And also, don't forget to check out Elegant Fashion 360 because those are the charms I mostly got from. I got this pom-pom charm, I believe, by... Oh, I don't remember, but I'll put... I'll see if I can find it. And check out Elegant Fashion 360. She's an awesome rainbow loom maker. Same with tutorials by A, made by Mommy. And that's it. So check out those channels out. Subscribe, like, and comment to them. And for me, what I should make next. Thank you guys, and goodbye. No, oh, my camera.